Hello, this is Daniel from DailyStruggles.org, working in joint effort with the Ubuntu Screencast team. I would like to give you a guide on how you can customize your desktop. The first thing that you can do would be to edit your menus, so where your programs are in a position that you might be able to use them more easily. You can edit your menus by simply right-clicking anywhere on your main menu and clicking Edit Menus. Once the main menu comes up, then if I wanted to change the way Get It Text Editor was displayed in the menu so where I can navigate to it quickly, I could move it up or move it down so I can find it easily. In this menu, I can also from the applications, I can add a new menu and then put more applications on that menu that I use more frequently. One of the interesting things that you can do from the main menu uh, from this window is by figuring out the command that it would take to launch a program. So if I needed to know what it took to uh, the command it took to take a screenshot, I could highlight take screenshot, go over to properties, and look at the command. Some of the other things that you can do would be to change your desktop background. You can do that simply by right clicking anywhere on your desktop and clicking on change desktop background. Once the appearance preferences menu comes up you would be able to choose from any of the uh, backgrounds that are already in place or you can get more backgrounds online or you can move you can add your own pictures that you have on your computer. Once you change the background, it should take effect almost immediately. From the Edit Preferences menu, you can also change your theme. You can get more themes online, and you can also have a selection of several that come pre-installed. When you edit a theme, to select a different theme, it should take effect almost immediately. From the Edit Preferences menu, you also have several other things that you can change if you click on the fonts tab you can change how your font appears and the size of the font and you can also change how it's rendered on the interface tab you can change how your menus are displayed by clicking on one or both of these icons or both of these checkboxes at the top and this would allow you to show menu icons and menus or editable menu shortcut keys. The show icons in menus allows you to have system icons in menus. The visual effects tab allows you to have more advanced settings by clicking on the extras. If you click on the extras then you can uh, you can enable what is commonly known as Compiz. Compiz allows you to make a rolling desktop or to have wavy windows 
or to have a desktop queue. Some of the other changes that you can make on your desktop are to uh, make changes to your panels. To make a change to your panel, you would just right click on your panel and you can add an item to the panel by clicking on an item to add <coughs> or you can create a custom application launcher from knowing the program command that you learned in the edit menu dialog. And when you click on that application, you would have, or click on that launcher, then you would have that application pop up. One of the things that you notice I did not do on that application was to set an image to it. You can also set your images to whatever icon you choose. Some of the other things that you can do with your menus or your panels are to change the background color. <coughs> you do this by going to the properties, clicking on the background, and choosing a solid color. If I wanted to choose a purplish gray, I could choose the gray, make it more opaque, or make it less opaque. I could also add a custom image to that panel also. Some of the other things that you can do are simply to add more panels. If you do not have a panel at the bottom and you click to add a panel by clicking, right clicking on a panel and clicking new panel, it will automatically add a panel to the bottom. Since a panel was on the bottom, it added it to, to the right side. and it follows the same principle over and over again. Again, this is just a basic guide on some of the more customization that you can choose to do to your particular desktop and more uh, customization tutorials will follow. Also will tutorials on individual applications that come pre-installed and their use. Thank you.